If you've ever been left at the lights in awe of how a seemingly smart and sensible saloon just left you for dead, you'll likely be very interested in the Fine Audio F500 SP loudspeaker series. This range of two floor standing models and a soon to be announced hot hatch of a stand mounter may be suave on the outside, but under these respectable looking chassis rule the engines of race cars. The SP in this speaker series name stands for Special Production, and that's because Fine Audio has taken the already award-winning F500 range and souped it right up to create a much needed series at around the three to four thousand pound price point, slotting in neatly between the standard F500s and the seven thousand pound Fine F700 series. And if that speaks to your actual or even your aspirational budget, then listen closely. We'll tell you their story. Based in Scotland, Fine Audio may have only begun life just a blink of an eye ago in 2017, but it's a brand steeped in hi-fi excellence, thanks to its five founding members with 200 years of hi-fi industry expertise between them. Fine has taken that know-how and poured it into these speakers. The F500 SP series is made at the company's Glasgow facility on the very same production line as the premium F700s and the luxury F1 series. And it's the high-end components of these upper-end models which Fine has tucked into the more unassuming chassis of the standard F500s where possible. Drive units, crossover, base track system and all. Even on the outside though, the engineering isn't exactly the same. The curved MDF cabinets of the SP models may look familiar, but the panels are denser and sturdier and lined with complementary dampening materials to control resonance. But it's with those drive units from the F700 where things really start to get fun. For the F501 SP and F502 SP floor standards, it's a two and a half way system, with the uppermost unit one of fine signature ISO flare arrays. That's a system with the tweeter placed right in the throat of the mid-base cone. It's a configuration that aims for improved integration between the two drivers, more consistent dispersion characteristics and improved time alignment. The idea is that the sound from each driver reaches the listener at exactly the same moment, which hopefully leads to some outstanding stereo imaging, even when sitting off axis. The units are linked with a new, highly specified and hand-built crossover network, and the whole lot is connected with upgraded silver-plated Vanden Hull wiring. For the entry-level F501 SP floor standards, that ISO flare array is a 25mm magnesium dome compression tweeter, coupled to a 15cm multi-fibre mid-base cone. Then underneath is another same size multi-fibre cone, only this time with no tweeter at its heart, and filtered for low frequency only. The surrounds of the units are fluted so that unwanted mechanical energy is controlled more effectively, with the aim of cleaner, more detailed results. So there we are. One tweeter, two woofers. Well, that's not quite the end of the story. These 98cm tall towers have a surprise. Underneath the plinth is Fine's base track system. It's a downward firing port designed to augment the low frequency audio from the drivers and disperse the output across the floor in 360 degrees. Think a pebble in a pond with rings radiating outward in a uniform sound wave. The plinth itself has been upgraded from the wood of the F500 series to a highly engineered twin level aluminium setup to enhance stability and refine that bass dispersal even further. That way the speakers should be less fussy for positioning, meaning that, theoretically, the sound shouldn't change as much if you choose to place them nearer to your wall. The F501 SPs are bi-wireable through the connection panel on the rear, which too has been improved, to feature a fifth terminal for grounding the driver's chassis to help reduce the RF interference. All of that is wrapped up in a choice of three gloss finishes, piano black, piano white, or a real walnut wood veneer if you don't mind paying a little extra on those otherwise 2,800 pound speakers. Each retains a neat magnet rear grille storage system to help promote the idea of removing speaker grills for the best listening experience. And if you'd rather take your spend a little further still, then the top of the range F502 SP floor standards are only a short hop away at 3,800 pounds, 
or just over £4,000 if you want to go for the gloss walnut. They bring the same two and a half way setup as the F501 SPs, but the cones jump from 15 centimeters to the 20 centimeter rigid multi-fiber drive units as found in the F702s. The crossover has also been borrowed from the F700 range and tucked away inside these, the largest of the F500 SP cabinets, standing proud at 111 centimeters high, 34 centimeters wide, and a solid 38 centimeters deep. Now that the specs have whetted our appetites, on to the main course, performance. And if you're looking for excitement and energy, then you are in luck. We spent plenty of time getting to know the F501 SPs in the Watt Hi-Fi listening rooms, and they are terrific. Easily some of the most entertaining speakers at this price. Sound simply erupts from these speakers. They can generate the kind of drive and attack when needed that makes it difficult to sit still weighty and authoritative for what are relatively compact towers and when partnered with the right electronics are very punchy down at those low frequencies too. The F501 SPs are as dynamically at home with large scale orchestral sounds as they are with the fine textures required to make vocal performances incredibly convincing. Position them with care and all that detail can be yours. A five star review. Who wouldn't be tempted? Of course, sometimes life can get in the way, even for hi-fi enthusiasts, and not everyone has the space or the sympathetic neighbours that floor-standing speakers require, particularly when they're downported. So to complete the F500 SP range, it is our pleasure to announce that Fine Audio is introducing a stand mount version for late summer 2021, simply called the Fine Audio F500 SP shown here in early prototype with the accompanying FS6 stand. They build on the aesthetics and performance of the F500 small speakers with the single 15 centimeter ISO flare array from the F501 SP as the star of the show instead. There's no room in the 32 centimeter tall cabinets for the additional bass cone, but Fine has still found space to squirrel in the bass tracks diffuser on the underside. The F500 SPs are still very much in the design stage, so as we say, what you see before you now is a sneak peek of a set of prototypes that Fine has been kind enough to let us and you in on first. They'll retail at £1,299 per pair when they arrive, with the matching FS6 stands available at £499. As for how they sound, well, rest assured that we'll bring you our full report just as soon as we can. Until then, sit tight, choose colours, and have a think about rearranging your furniture.